Hello again YouTube. Yesterday I took apart a zinc chloride PP3 cell. Um, found out that it had half a dozen little cells inside full of black carbon type material. Uh, and I got to wondering what was inside an alkaline PP3. Uh, so I've got this one here, it's an Active Energy, I think it's an Albion brand. Again it's fully charged, I don't have a discharge one. I could probably discharge it but that'll take the fun out of it. Uh, See if something can go bang here. I don't think it will go bang, but it might get a spark or a fizz. Uh, so again, I'm just going to rip it open, see what's inside it, and see if it's cells or see if it's uh, packed material. I'm hoping this one's going to be little cells. Uh, but again, let's just rip the can open. We'll see what we get. This is not a rechargeable battery. It's just a standard alkaline. Ah. This one has cells. So you've got a standard steel can. And a steel base, they're just folded and pressed. There's a little piece of cardboard at the bottom. Just as an insulator. It's nothing more than that, it's just standard cardboard. And then at the top, well at the bottom, let's have a look at this. We've got a piece of paper. It's stuck. It's got all these holes in it, I don't know why. It's basically just stuck over the little nickel strips. I'm assuming they're nickel. They probably will be. They look like nickel. Um, and they're just, um, the cells are just spot welded on in pairs. So it, I can't really tell. It looks like this is the positive end of this cell and that's the negative, just from the way they're pressed and the, the shape of them. Have a look at the top. Okay, so these are riveted on, they're sort of pressed and riveted. Got one comes down to here, which will be the last. Yeah, so that's the, that's the negative, well no it's not, it's positive. Well, if it's a traditional cell, that looks like the negative end of the battery. Let me just grab a piece of thing here. Yeah. So the big, the female connection is the negative, and the male connection is the positive. So that's, that's how a normal cell would work. On this though, this here, which is the negative, connects to, sorry, that's, that connects, sorry, let's look at the positive. Positive here connects to what appears to be the negative end of this cell. So it would mean either these aren't as you would expect or these aren't. But... Yeah, this is definitely the positive. But if you look at this cell, the outer of the cell, that appears to be connected to the bottom and the top end of the cell here. So if this was a normal, you know, if it's obviously a sub AAA, but if it was a AAA or any other size, you'd expect that to be the positive. I can maybe take it apart and see if we can meter it. Um, although given that it's connected to what's definitely the positive, I'm sure it will be positive. So there's a lot more of this paper, it's just stuck. It's just glued in here. And you've got a strap coming from the positive and a strap coming from the negative. And then underneath you've got layers of paper in between, just as an insulator. And then you've got 
these straps coming across so if I pull these out there you are, you've got a chain of cells you make up one big battery so I'm going to cut these off I don't know if these matlin snips will do it, they're a bit mangled because I've been using them to cut all sorts of inappropriate things ok Let's just cut one cell on. Let's see if we can break the spot weld off. Right. So there we are. That's. There you go. That's both the straps off. So if I. If you would, in a normal cell this would be the positive and that would be the negative um, let's just see what the meter says meter says that's yep. go up to 20 volts 2.1 volts and that is the positive that sort of um, sort of matches with the, the, the zinc cell that I took apart where the the red internal wax was the, the negative end let's just slice this insulation off and see what's inside so it does just look like a traditional alkaline cell inside, except the polarity is reversed. wonder why that is. Seem a bit odd that they would do that, unless there is a, you know, a, a quadruple A. I'm guessing that there is actually a quadruple A. I don't know if this is one or not. I don't know what the, the dimensions of a quadruple A are, or the, the voltage for that matter. It's possible that because this is the same as a quadruple A, it maybe has a different voltage because it's 2.11 volts. Maybe they reverse it, I don't, I don't know, I'm guessing at it. Um, I'm quite sure a quick Google search would explain it. But that's what's inside it. I'm not going to cut this open because I know what's inside an alkaline cell. You've got a dielectric material wrapped round and round um, with the alkaline component inside. Um, when you take it apart, it just makes a mess, and uh, it, sometimes if you wrap the foil around back to front, it catches itself and goes on fire. So I'm not going to do that. I've seen inside an alkaline cell before. But there you are, that's what's inside an alkaline PP3 cell. That was more interesting than the, the zinc chloride cell. Um, and I wonder if there's anything we can do with these. But actually, I don't know what the energy density is like on these little cells maybe test that out um, but these could be quite handy uh, in terms of using for maybe Arduino projects because if you if you put two of these together you got just over four volts um, you could step that down you could use a regulator or a, a buck converter and bring that down to 3.3 volts and use it for logic level uh, so yeah they might be handy in projects uh, or you could use a boost converter, you could take one of them and boost it up to 3.3 volts but they're actually very small um, they would fit nicely inside a, a little project case at the moment I'm doing a lot with uh, lithium ion batteries but they're quite bulky in fact, let me just there you are, there's a lithium lithium ion cell versus one of these, a significant difference in size so yeah, that I, I think I'll I think I'll take these apart, keep them, and uh, see if there's anything useful I can do with them. Thanks for watching.